If you go back to 2018, not many people really knew anything about Ethereum. They knew about Bitcoin, of course. They knew about XRP, some of the top winners there. But Ethereum was an after back in 2018. But now, of course, after this last bull cycle, everyone in crypto knows about Ethereum. In fact, many of the top experts out there believe Ethereum will surpass Bitcoin in the next cycle by market cap. Well, insert Solana. Is Solana on that same trajectory as Ethereum was back in 2018? One person believes, yes, that is Raul Paul. We're going to break it down in this video for you. Of course, Raul Paul, a big proponent of Ethereum, but also a big proponent of Solana. Let me tighten my mic up a little bit here. There we go. Uh, so crypto guru Raul Paul compares Solana with Ethereum back in 2018. I want to break this down. Very fascinating points and ideas here. Let me know as we go along if you agree. Drop your thoughts, ideas, comments down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel as well. Let's dive in. Crypto guru Raul Paul compares Solana with Ethereum of 2018. So in his recent Ask Me Anything live stream, founder and CEO of Global Macro and former Goldman Sachs executive, Raul Paul compared Solana's performance with Ethereum back in 2018. Back then, Ethereum went down 97%. Solana, currently down 96%. He added that back then, Ethereum offered a great investment opportunity that nobody really paid attention to. Is the same, or can the same be said for Solana currently here in 2022? Well, Raul Paul elaborated that Solana's currently performing like ETH did, which slumped by more than 90%, back in 2018 after it burst onto the scene like Solana did in a very short amount of time before losing literally all of its value that it gained. Solana was trading at a high this month of around $38.70. But now we're under $12. Of course, the bear market and the FTX collapse both crippled the price of Solana here in the short term. Raul Paul had this quote, I really like Solana, and I understand that the chain breaks. I also understand that they are fixing it. I also understand that that's a no-no. And one of the elements was it was concentrated in its ownership as of FTX. They are now able to liquidate it, and so you're getting rid of one of the issues. They have to fix the outages. I will say that. This is just my opinion here. But it's something that can be resolved, right? I think they've had, what, seven or eight different outages here in 2022. Powell explained that irrespective of its outages in the recent FTX episode, though, Solana's doing well in terms of its NFTs as well uh, is something to really hit right home about. Citing the reason for this inference, Powell added that the crypto's work, uh, crypto's work on narratives as Bitcoin's narrative is gold, Ethereum's is distributed over the Internet of Web3. Solana has the narrative of the consumer chain, in his opinion. He also noted that Sol's deals with Google, Meta, bring out the cryptocurrency's consumer feel to users. So is there a place for Solana? Will it act like Ethereum did after it lost 97% of its value? Fascinating questions here. When asked about what he thinks about Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, if, if they will last, Pal added that per Metcalf's law, which he references quite a bit, both the networks haven't really grown a lot since 2021, maybe even the end of 2020. However, for them to completely go away, Web3 must stop developing, and the exponential trend of adoption must also completely halt, which seems unlikely, Paul concluded. So fascinating ideas and thoughts here, perspectives from Raul Paul on Solana. What do you guys think about all of this? Let me know down below. Appreciate you guys stopping in. We'll talk in the next video.